Well, Sean, looking forward to this Ulster minor final this coming weekend in Clonus against Derry, I suppose. What's it like in, in the camp this week? How's these young men preparing for it? Oh, we're looking forward to it now. And, uh, I suppose everybody's kind of, well, I suppose a little bit of excitement now and uh, I suppose maybe nerves and the build-up now and I suppose the last week now leading up to it maybe runs a wee bit slow. Everybody's waiting for it just to get the game on. Yeah. And uh, Antrim and Monaghan were the two sides that you had to defeat to progress and I suppose two types of games and, and one of the matches you had to come from behind against Antrim and, and the other game you were you had the game on at half time but, but let Monaghan slip back into it I suppose there were two different games but there were two distinctive different teams um, I suppose a lot of people would have thought that we were going up to beat uh, Antrim up in uh, Corrigan Park but we always knew that was going to be a huge task for us um, because uh, Antrim had already played in the league or in the, in the championship and they were playing at home and uh, uh, they knew that they were up for the game but we had a big task that day and we went up and we put up a good performance um, particularly I suppose in the latter half of the second half um, things didn't go for well for us early in the game there particularly at the start of the second half where we lost two men two of our best players like in, in Jason McGee and uh, Owen McGettigan and I suppose we're five, we're 11 minutes to go we were five points down but they showed great character and showed great heart and they came back yeah and um, they had to show character as well in the, in the Monaghan match because Monaghan had you on the rack at one stage early in the second half. Well, it's funny because yeah. uh, for the few games we played, both uh, we played Tyrone yeah. in the league final and we went behind in, in the nine minutes, like, and we played. Uh, as I said, we played Antrim there, and uh, we're five points down, but eleven minutes to go again against Monaghan. At no time do I ever believe that they're in bother. We just have right. great faith in them. They, you know, they're great lads. They're great hunger in them, and they've great belief in them. Yeah. So it's it's I suppose it's a sign of how strong a character there is within this this group of players. Then. Ah, yeah. Well, I suppose it's like anything they have a lot of work done mm. like you know and they know what they're doing know what they're about and I suppose last day against Monaghan is a bit difficult like you're 8 points up particularly with young lads like they think the game's over at half time it's not as place to be expected to be mm. um, we knew Monaghan are a very good side we also knew Monaghan were going to come, come at us and throw everything at us at some stage in the game and then started the second half they did that and they put it right up to us but the, show, the lads showed great belief and showed great character and came back and, and finished out well in the end Is conceding goals a worry for you? Nobody likes yeah, to concede yeah. goals, and we certainly don't like to concede goals on something we, we try to guard against. And we were disappointed with a couple of goals that we did, particularly the goals we scored or we conceded the last day against uh, Monaghan. But I suppose we, we like to score goals, and we don't like to concede them. Yeah. Let's look at the the, the advantages that, that Donegal have had through the, the, this this championship, mm. and uh, some of the key areas and and the park where he's have been performing very very well. Mm. The last day midfield was very impressive. Jason and Kieran have really stepped up to the plate. That's Jason McGee and, and Kieran Gallagher, and they've turned out to be a formidable force in the, in, in the middle of the field. Uh, listen, Jason and Kieran, they're, they're two fabulous players. They're they're great athletes, but two of them have both very good hands now. And they're, they're I think last day there, Kieran gave an exhibition of high fielding, um, and Jason as well as his fielding scored one two from play. Like it's massive, like for any team to have that. Um, it was the two lads the last day it's other lads other days that stand mm -hmm. up like they're take it that are the main players and like he mentioned Niall O'Donnell in the previous day against Antrim yeah. scored 2-5 you know was a fabulous contribution Aidan McGlone has done it in the league final against um Tyrone and JD got us the, the, the draw against uh, Monaghan in the league so yeah. there's players every day and there's players all over the park like everybody contributes hugely like it's not one or two players they all play their part and the two lads played particularly well the last day yeah, and they're very much into the team effort there's oh, there's no selfishness about these players and, and like you can be a star forward for a county as a, as a, as a young man like what Niall O'Donnell is and he scored 2-5 the first day and, and he's got you back in it but he played very much a team role against uh, Monaghan in the second game he scored four points but his contribution was, was vital so it was well, I suppose that's one of the things that we have laid down right from the start, that it's immensely important that it is a team, that no one individual is, is going to do it, no matter how good he is. And no, no one player will carry the team. It's a team effort. It's a team every day they go out. And not only the, the players that, that play, that get the chance to play the 15 and the subs that come on, but all the whole panel. Everybody has to contribute every night of training, and that's the only way it can be. And for us to be successful, that's the only way it will be. Yeah. And, and they have done that, and they've bought into it, every single one of them. So I suppose that's where we are, where we are. And another thing that, that stood out, particularly from very early on, Sean, uh, in the game against um, Monaghan, was the half-back line. I think the entire half-back line had scored before Donegal, before anybody else in the pitch had, had, had managed to get one. 
Yeah, well, that's I suppose that that's part of the character yeah. of the team as well. We encourage all the players to go forward, um, driving forward, particularly from half for from half back line, and particularly J. I suppose J. D. and Aiden have been very instrumental in doing that. They're, they're two very strong players, and Oren as well going going forward. I think Oren has scored consistently nearly in most games yeah. going forward. But they're they're three very good players, and I suppose the players that we looked at that may come in to replace them would also be very good. Yeah, let's talk about your opposition. Derry, mm. what, what do you know of them? They are the defending champions and if they're going into this game like yourself, there's what, four or five players there from, from last year in the squad uh, which went on a, which were involved in an Ulster campaign. But what do you know about them? How have they evolved o- over over the years? Is this going to be the toughest challenger you're, you're going to meet to date, Sean? I would ex- expect so. It's an Ulster final, so we're going to expect that, or, or that uh, Derry are going to be at their best. Now, they are a very good side. We played them now, and we, and we beat them actually in, in Celtic Park in the league, but that will count not for nothing in it. I've seen them playing three or four times now already this season. I've seen them playing twice in the Championship against Tyrone and against Armagh, and they've been very, very impressive. They have a lot of very, very good players, and particularly the two men inside are very good. Um, they've uh, Shea Downey from last year playing centre-half back or sweeper. He played sweeper against Armagh the last day. Excellent player. I think they've made 11 players still left from last year which is immense and as you said they're going in as defending champions uh, champion, so they're not going to give that up easy they're certainly not and I suppose having the experience of last year but have been in Ulster an occasion like this won't really phase them will it because when you're dealing with young men um, when you're dealing with young men and situations arise it, it can affect them in different ways so so it can but with, with Derry being there and having experienced it and having those handful of players it's, it's a situation you feel will not be phasing them uh, absolutely and as well as that Derry have already played in the championship in Clonus which is in front of a big crowd which is also probably a help to them but listen we're hoping that when we get our players out in the field if the players are there and they're, they're fit and they're not carrying any knocks and they're ready to go that the lads will give it, a, yeah. give it their best shot yeah. How do you deal with, with the occasion with, with the young boys? How, how are you going to keep them grounded now for these days going on dead? And we like to keep it kind of relaxed and have the crack with the lads, like you know. Yeah. And, uh, but keep them focused. They're really focused, and that's important for us that we keep them really focused now between now and, and the weekend. They're focused all year on what they're doing, and um, they know what the job they want to do. Uh, they know what we have to achieve. Um, they want to be champions, and um, it's already right been in the final. But no good being in the final unless you win it. Yeah. Look, just moving away from the final, looking at the group you have. Um it's been fantastic to see the development of football at underage level in recent years in Donegal and yes there would be a lot stemming off what we've seen from 2011 and 2012, mm-hmm. the success that, that, that the senior team had. But one thing we do note, is, and, and we've seen it over the last couple of years, that football does have a bright future in the county when we see all these young players coming through the minor ranks. Well absolutely, like there, there's a huge amount of work going on at every level all over the county like there's 40 clubs in, uh, in the county and there's an awful lot of work going on at underage the work that's going on in schools um, and then the development squads the development squads are excellent from under 14 up uh, one of the things that I suppose that was causing a difficulty for Donegal for minor teams pushing on was no under 17 competition but since the Jim, Jim McGuigan competition was introduced Donegal have bridged that gap because Donegal teams or, or schools Predominantly, don't be playing in Ulster Colleges football. But that, with the Jim McGuigan now and the under 17 competition now, there's no break between under 16 and minor. And that's why I think mainly the, uh, the development in the last number of years, Donegal, have been successful at minor. Yeah. And I know there's a huge amount of work goes on with yourself and, and, and the backroom team. And the way underage football training regimes and what has now become part of, of the standard that, that, that you have to go through. It takes up a lot of time, doesn't it, Sean? Yeah, absolutely, but uh, that's the commitment you give. You know what it takes and you know what, it, what it's going to take and you have to be prepared to give that. Like You, you have to buy into it right away and you're, when you're looking for everybody else to buy into what you're doing, you have to be prepared to give the commitment and it is like it's immense. Like a, We've been out three times a week since the start of the year uh, and as well as the lads would be doing uh, their strength and conditioning programs like three or four times a week as well like you know and that takes a huge amount of time particularly the lads and the minor lads that, that are uh, doing that even cert and that was a, a huge task for them but thankfully they've come through it now because through the exams they've been focusing on on football for mm. for the last month or so do these young men understand how por- how important it is to win an, an ulster title at minor level oh they understand they know yeah. it's it's been they understand what it's about. It's one of the things I suppose we, we look to reiterate with them right away, like what it is, it is to be a, a county minor footballer, um, what it is to represent your, your county 
uh, the pride and honour it is to, to do that and uh, I think they will they know at this stage what it is and finally Sean uh, how beneficial will it to be to be going into the All-Ireland series as Ulster champions in, in a couple of weeks time well that's the only way we want to be going into it yeah. we're looking forward to that now, and we want to be going in as champions obviously if you're going as champions you play in Cork if you're going to run it up you're meeting Kerry yeah. both are formidable teams but you want to be meeting Cork yeah, and outside of the, the Solster competition, who do you see as the counties that would really, really be up there at the moment? It's hard to know. Um, Galway have a very impressive team. Um, they won last week. They made double scores against Mayo, and we played Mayo a couple of times in the cha- in challenge matches this, this year, and they were a very good side. And Galway beat them well at the weekend. Um, I also know that uh, Kerry, we have down watched Kerry and Cork, both are very, very good sides, particularly Kerry are, are, are excellent side. And uh, I know Lee and Clare now um, will be two formidable teams in the Leinster as well. Yeah. Well, listen, Sean, many thanks for coming into the studio to talk to us today. And all we can do is wish you the best of luck in the, in the final this weekend to you, to you and the lads. And hopefully, when we're talking next, you'll be Ulster champions. Thanks very much, Oshin. Appreciate that. Thanks.